Hello. In this session, we'll be using Niagara to create a simple cloud that originates from the center and spreads out. First, create a Niagara system by adding a fountain emitter. Check the local space and properties. Then, to spread the particle in a short time repeatedly, reduce the loop duration value in emitter state. Next, create spawn burst, instantaneous to spawn all the particles at once. Currently, the particles are falling downwards. Remove the gravity force to prevent this. Then, set the mode in add velocity to from point, so the particles disperse in all directions. Next, configure the shape location so that the particles are spawned in a ring shape. Then, set the particle's lifetime in initialize particle and set the alpha value and sprite size in color to give it a cloud-like appearance. To make the cloud appear and disappear, create scale sprite size and set the curve as shown in the video. Next, in scale color, change the scale RGB to linear color to allow the particles to change color and become transparent over time. Then set a curve for the linear color and configure the colors on the curve as shown in the video. Next, to add movement dispersion, Create curl noise force and set its values as shown in the video. Now to create clouds from the inside, copy the emitter you've been working on. Then, in the copied emitter, change the emitter state's mode to system so that the particles are affected by their lifetime. Then, Remove spawn burst instantaneous and create spawn rate to continuously produce particles. Lastly, in initialize particle, reset the alpha color and sprite size of the spawning particles. Now, place the completed Niagara in the level to check if the cloud is generated correctly.